Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Mortal Kombat 11. Well, the day is finally here. DLC number one has officially dropped for this game. Well, character number one of Combat Pack number one. For sure a fan favorite. He's finally back. The boy Shang Tsung. This is awesome. The fact that they got the guy from the movies to voice him and mocap him is awesome. Like, just comparing this guy's performance from what I've seen, like the trailers and the intros and all that, compared to like Ronda Rousey is like <laughs> night and day. And we have the movie skin as well. And, you know, of course I'm going to use the movie skin. Like, I'd be an idiot not to use the movie skin. Although, to be fair, the old version looks pretty good as well. So in this video, we're just going to be checking out Sa Shang Tsung. As you can see, I'm doing some stuff because I messed around for like five minutes with him. Uh, so that I just don't go in here blind. Uh, it's an, This is an in the lab video. So as always, we'll just explore the basic tools of the character. Let's just look into it. Surprisingly, he's pretty fast. He's a lot faster than I thought he would be. Uh, backdash is kind of slow, but forward dash is fast. Yeah, the backdash actually has quite a bit of like startup lag on it. Decent jump. I like that he flips. As I've said many times, any character that somersaults in their jump is good because their hurt box gets smaller. So, yeah, decent, okay looking jump attack, air to air. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. He does like a little, you know, T pose. All right, let's just look into his moves. Standing one, standing two, highs, high. Okay, that's a high. Boy, how the fuck is that a high? Uh, that that looks like the most mid. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. Are you shitting me? Why does he face through? I guess it would be too strong of a mid, uh, but still. Couldn't you have made this kick higher so that it doesn't phase through the enemy's head? Okay, that's interesting. Just did some stuff. Oh, he has two versions. That's an overhead. And that's a high. Lots of highs. Let's see, I'm assuming this is... No, it's negative seven. Okay. And this one is... Yeah, this one is plus. Triggers if this attack counters or punishes a get-up roll. Uh, weird. Weird requirement. Just glance over his frame data. Yeah, his pokes look pretty safe. Eight frame down one, so not the best. Not the best. Okay, classic down four. Hey, that's actually... That actually has no... Wait, wait a second. Looks like it had more range on it. Look at his sweep. Oh, that's cool. That's actually very cool. That's a cool sweep. I like that. Seems like it would be more fitting for Cetrion or something, but whatever. Combo strings. Uh, one one two one one four. This one is plus four on block. I assume, yeah, it has a massive gap. One one four. It is uh, sort of safe, sort of safe on block. This is a combo starter. Okay, this is the one move I figured out with him. Uh, this is actually double amplifiable, so we don't wanna we wanna be careful with that, not to accidentally double amplify. But he can also do this. Which we'll get into later. Believe me, we'll get into this move later. Alright. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this. The reason I wanted to, like, check this character out, the reason I'm very excited for him is because, as you know, if you've been around since the MKX days on my channel, I main Shinnok. And Shinnok had Hell Sparks, which was one of the strongest moves in MKX. While Shang Tsung has his version of the Hell Sparks. It also launches too, so we'll get into that a later, bit later as well. I can't even talk. That's how excited I am. Okay, back one, one, two. That's actually a fairly decent mid string. Good, like forward advantage on it too. Something like that. I'm guessing, yeah, he's gonna be able to. Most of his combos are gonna be coming from Hell Sparks. So back one down. Okay, that's an overhead. Negative seven. Triggers if the overhead chop hits by itself. Is it? Is it a launcher? Yes, it is. Okay. That might actually be pretty good. That travels forward a lot. Yeah. And then, you know. You can do all your shit. That's actually fairly strong. Weirdly, like, one of the things I noticed when I was messing around with him is that... 
he actually has quite a few strings. You know, because he's a more like a zoning type character, I assume that he wasn't gonna have like, you know, six strings, five strict strings at the most. But he actually has, okay, that's something, that's something. He actually has quite a few strings, so that's interesting. Whereas, I don't know, a character like Scorpion has like six. Not that he needs more strings, but you know, you know what I'm saying. It's just weird that a up close character has that few strings. Okay, these are plus seven. This must be like some. Oh, it's because it's one of these. You have to be really quick. Huh. That is strange. Mid, 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 or high, mid, mid, overhead. Plus seven on block. That's probably. There's probably a massive gap on it. Doesn't actually look like it. Uh, okay. Plus seven. Interesting. I thought it was gonna have like a really noticeable gap. He also has this off of it. Okay, just a mid, knocks away. This is probably his combo ender, no? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Of course, you don't have to go into the soul steal, I think. We'll see if he has a good combo ender. Alright. We have back to 1-1. One, one. Whoa! Oh, this is another mash string. Okay. Negative 3 on block? Weird. Yeah, you have to like really mash this out. Weird, when I saw this in the trailer, I thought this was a special move. Uh, this really looks like a special move, but this does look like it has a massive gap on it. Uh, whoa. That actually, look how far away that leaves the opponent. And negative three on block. Probably can't even punish with like a teleport. Okay, why is this character so good up close? Looks so good up close. This one, this one kind of looks like it has no purpose. Because why, why would you go for that? I guess you... Yeah, non-special cancelable. So if you hit with it, you can hit confirm for the ending. Okay. This is his main string. Yeah, this is... Look, that, that's a good mid. I mean, it's slow on startup. So people are going to be like mash heavy. Are probably going to be able to disrespect the fuck out of it. But look, that's a good string. Like, holy shit. Immediately this character like looks better up close than fucking Kotal Khan. Poor Kotal Khan. Don't even get me started. Oh, yeah, nah. Can't really combo into that. It really does look like this is the main combo ender. If you're not gonna go for the soul steal, he might have some other special move. Okay, and he has two enders. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Plus four. Why does he have so many plus moves? This one for sure has a massive gap on it. I can already tell. It's probably you can probably jab through that if you want to. Triggers if this combo it's a counter or punish. Okay. We'll see. It looks like it's gonna knock away uh, and just do damage, but... Oops. Yeah, it just knocks away. Not the highest damage in the world, but... Okay. Three. Oh, okay. And he also has... He has some weird inputs. Huh. That's pretty funny. How does that look like on block? Because it looks... Yeah, it looks very safe. Negative 17. But maybe... This one maybe you can punish with a teleport. He also has... Wait. Hold on a second. He can combo out of it. I mean, it starts off a high. I guess that's the balance. That's the reason why this is not a mid. It's just the animation is a little bit weird. This, this for sure is some last minute change. This is for sure a last minute change that they realize it's too strong. Oh, are you kidding me? What the hell? <laughs> what is this animation? NRS boys. 
What is he doing? <laughs> what the fuck? That's pretty funny. What what the hell is this move? Okay, that's it's kind of hilarious. No, you have got to be shitting me. Why is this spe special cancelable? Are you kidding me? But actually, let me just test which one does more damage. Wait. Two seventy one. Oops. Two sixty seven. Okay, that one does more damage. He has a low. You have got to be sure. Okay, this is negative third. This is negative. Everything is so safe. Why is he so safe? And why does he have mix ups? Okay, this is my understanding. Without, you know. Obviously, being a Shang Tsung expert, is that he's supposed to be a zoner. I mean, just look at his zoning tools. He has this, he has the, f the Hell Sparks. Wait, can he combo? Yes, he can. I think that was like that in MK9 as well. Uh, that is, he, he could combo Hell Sparks into Hell Sparks. And yeah, I'm just gonna call them Hell Sparks. I mean, oh shit! Hold on. You have to like dash forward a little bit. It looks like. Doesn't look like maybe you can get the projectile. Whatever. I'm just testing stuff. I'm just testing stuff. You have the soul steel as negative 25. Yep. But this is really interesting. Obviously, you know what happens. Uh, you get the character's moves. Uh, I'm not the not the biggest noob player in the world, but you know, I think without tooting my own horn, you know. Because I'm like doing YouTube and stuff, I tend to mess around with a lot of characters, so I have like at least a basic understanding of what to do with most of the cast. This is actually really strong. Of course, uh, a lot of this also depends on who you're fighting. Obviously, for a Scorpion, you want to do Soul Steel. For like a Kotal Khan, not so much. I'd rather stay Shang Tsung, honestly, because he has shit like this. Why does he have shit like this? This is gonna be good. I'm gonna be taking the hell out of him online. Using the hell out of him, I can't even talk. Oh yeah, and he has this. Like, I thought this was like for sure gonna be some variation move. He has like... So wait, he can go low, low. Okay, it doesn't combo at least. That's kind of ridiculous, because this Corpse Drop is an overhead low, which is unnecessary, to be fair. I will say it's unnecessary. Probably could have been a mid-low, but whatever. Yeah, it's very, very unsafe, though. I'll give them that. Oh, what is this? Sorcery Rush. Oh. Okay. That's probably his good combo ender. Like, if you don't want to go into Soul Steel. That's for sure his combo ender. All right, well, this is very interesting. Uh, we have the, the what you call it, the fatal blow and all that. Actually, let's check out his fatal blow. I always forget to edit when I do fatal blows so that I don't get screwed up by YouTube. But let's just check this out and we'll move on to the other variation. It's a mid. Yeah, gonna have to edit that. <laughs> That's a, this is a cool fail blow. I like that. I like this fail blow. I like the idea of him. I, it's kind of weird that he doesn't use any of the ninja moves in this variation. But I guess he has soul steel. Whatever. Let's move on to the, the other one. I want to check out the other one as well. This one looks like definitely the more combo focused one. I even thought so when they showed the combat cast. Or they had the combat cast. That this Hellspark variation for sure looks like the better one. Because, you know, this, I mean, that's, this is okay, but compared to Hellsparks, 
new new strings, no new strings. Screaming soul, so that's the yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Cetrion. There's a weird amplified timing on it. You have to be very quick. That's pretty funny, the little scroll helps him. Oh you can delay. I mean, cool. These delay moves are never really that good. Uh, honestly. They don't get plus frames like they used to. What the hell? Scatter souls. Oh, you can delay and cancel this one as well. Whoa. Oh, that's his... Okay. Ah. Uh, here's the problem, boys. It doesn't combo. Does this have a direction? Can you... No, you can't. There's only one... Okay, this is interesting. That's a soul well. Okay. What does that do? Absorbed souls. Oh. Oh. And then I bet if you hit the opponent, yeah, it's going into it. And then it, oh, it heals you. That's pretty cool. Still, I can already give my expert opinion. Oh, it's a shame he doesn't have the ninja moves in any of his variations. That's kind of a bummer. That's kind of, that's kind of a bummer. Hmm, I don't know what to combo off a jump kick. Yeah. I can already tell and give my expert opinion that the other variation is the better one. Just, you know, knowing this game and knowing what this game focuses on. Uh, that variation with the keep out and it looks hella better. Like, okay, you can do this. It heals you, but it's like, are you kidding me? This variation looks hella inferior. Oh, it, okay. So whatever damage you do. Holy shit. Okay, one more thing to look at. His crushing blows. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, nothing off of the special moves. There's a couple of the strings. I think we checked out most of them. The overhead chop. Hits as a counter or punish. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of crushing blows, but I know why. The reason is that he steals the crushing blows of other opponents. Oh, that's cool. There's a unique throw in this one. Is that part of the... No, it's not. But that for sure went into the soul. Oh, no, no, no. I remember this. They mentioned this in the combat cast. He does this in all variations. That His throw deals less damage, but it gives him back a bit of HP. Just very tiny amounts. That's pretty cool. Wish I could hear what he's saying. Although, yeah, to be fair, this does knock away this projectile. I don't know. I think this, this first variation looks way better. Way better. Still, this character is actually looking hella good. I thought he's really he really was going to be like zoning focused and, you know, he's going to have no strings and all that. But damn, he actually has a lot of dirt. He looks strong. Uh, of course, initial impressions don't account for much on whether a character is strong as well, but I think that's gonna be dirty. I mean, to be fair, let me just check this out. Yeah, that's very slow. Okay. Okay, it's not so bad. You have a ton of time to react. Yeah, and that's, that's hella unsafe. Hella unsafe. Okay. Still, okay, that's, a, that's marginally better. Because this is very, very much reactable. But on... It's hit confirmable, I think. Probably a tight input, but still. It's pretty cool. 
not as bad as I initially thought. One more thing I wanted to check out. Let me just see this. Does he steal variations? Or does he steal one like one move set per character? I'd assume he'd steal the variation moves. Alright, so let's just check it out. He does. Okay, so he gets that's crazy, man. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. Again, as someone who has a basic knowledge of of almost any character or, or almost every character, doesn't look like he can combo off a of jump kick. Hmm. Maybe just that. Okay, he can. He can. Oh, this is very. This is very cool. I am liking this character a lot. I don't know what else this variation of new Cybot can do. You can amplify this as well. I think it lasts longer or something like that. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, here's the low zoning. Zoning, zoning, all that. You know. You know how it is. This character is hella cool. I'm gonna enjoy playing him. Oh, it looks like he has... Wow, he's that's fast. That is a fast jab. You can probably there's probably a lot more you can do. But yeah. I am I'm a fan. <clears throat> probably his real strength is gonna be decided by this move. If this move is like as difficult to counter as Shinnok's health bars. Because let me give you an idea again of people who are not around in MKX. MKX had basically no zoning tools. Zoning was very weak in that game. However, Shinnok with Hellsparks could keep you out forever. Hellsparks was so strong, it knocked away, led to full combos, it could be made safe on block. Actually, what is this on block? Negative 11 is not... You kidding me that's zero on block? No way. No way that's zero on block. Can he even amplify it on block? Uh, no, okay, okay, no, he can't. Because it, okay. Again, that's marginally better. Because the problem with Shinnok's Hell Sparks was, again, that it was probably the best keep out tool in a game that didn't have keep out tools. So, that made it very strong. And Shinnok was a very good character so this could you know really make or break this character we'll see we'll see uh initial impressions are very strong i think they've did a, they've done a fantastic job man i need to get the old skin as well because the old skin looks awesome as well uh but this movie skin yeah in terms of looks you know it's nrs looks and voice acting and all lines and all that it's never an issue but this character is looking pretty strong We'll see what people find. I'm gonna go ahead and take him to the ranked mode for sure. Proper ranked mode. We finally got a proper ranked mode, you know. Very happy about that. Looks like he also stuns for a bit when uh, he gets out of the move. That's interesting. It's probably punishable when he's doing that. Okay, that's gonna, I think, wrap it up. I'll need to do more testing with this character because... He is actually a lot more interesting, again, with up-close options than I thought he would be. Yeah, he has some dirt, I think. He does. Plus the soul steal, of course. I mean, how cool is that move? Just the idea of it. With that line. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm just... I'm kind of addicted to this character. Very fun. He's looking very fun. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Gonna be posting more with this character for sure. Maybe some online matches as well in ranked. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and peace out guys.